15 weighing routes to go. I'm doing three today, but I'm pretty much doing them in single trips. So uh, I'm doing uh, heart crag first, a uh, little heart crag. In fact, that's that's the mistake I made last time. So I was uh, I was meant to do this one on the Kirkstone and Dovedale circuit on Saturday. If you've watched that video, um, I was meant to do seven weighing rights and I only did six. And the reason is because I I read Heart Crag instead of uh, Little Heart Crag. So I've actually already done Heart Crag when I did the uh, Fairfield Horseshoe. Um, but I chose to do it again on Saturday. Therefore, I missed Little Heart Crag. So Little Heart Crag um, was actually on my route and I passed within 30 meters of it. Um, but I didn't go up to it or get the picture. Um, and I definitely remember missing it out because I remember thinking, oh, there's a path around this. And I just took the path around it instead of actually going up to uh, get the get the peak. So as soon as I got home, I was like, no, I can't believe I did that. Um, I obviously had to uh, had to go and get it uh, again. So this is what I'm doing now. So I've just parked at the bottom of uh, Kirkstone Pass, and then I'm walking up to Little Heart Crag now. Just got to the top of Little Heart Crag. Finally, so I must have walked last time. I must have just walked down here and just missed it off completely. Um, and I went to Heart Crag instead. Oh well, got it eventually. Um, some good views down. You can just see Windermere in the background here. And you got Brothers Water over uh, here. So you've got High Hot Sup Dodge just further on down this ridge. Um, we've got Red Screes it's up here and uh, Middle Dodd a bit further down. So I'm going to go back to the car now and then we're going to drive to uh, Troutbeck Village. Back at the car after that uh, little walk. So it was only about six and a half K, uh, pretty pretty fast and under two hours. So now I'm off to uh, Troutbeck Village or Troutbeck Town to uh, start my next walk up uh, Wandsfell and uh, all that's Baystones and um, Troutbeck Tun, I think. So only three today, but that's one down, uh, two to go. Set off walking to uh, Troutbeck Tongue, a uh, park near Troutbeck. Um, I was walking along this road, it looks pretty nice walk to be honest, most of it's on the road and then a bit of a ascent up at the end to get to the top but yeah it looks pretty good, hoping to do it pretty quickly. Back to the car and then set off in the other direction to go up to uh, Baystones, Wonsfell Pike um, and then back down to the car again so I'm hoping the weather's going to be nicer sort of uh, this late afternoon, early evening because it's um, it was raining before but it's all right now so 
I hope it's going to stay that way. Um, that walk before was, yeah, I enjoyed it really. It was really nice. Um, quick up and down. Wasn't too taxing. About one hour 50-ish. Uh, six and a half, seven K. Um, so yeah, pretty good. Everything's uh, turning out well so far. I um, was hoping the ground ain't too boggy around uh, Baystones, but I've heard it might be. Hope for the best. Still walking on my way up to uh, Troutbeck Tongue. It's just coming to view now. This one. So it doesn't look too bad actually. Well, it looks really easy to be honest. <laughs> it's not the smallest one, but in terms of uh, elevation gain, it can't be far off. Um, I did, uh, I think it was, was it Castle Crag or something that I did? It was the smallest one. Um, can't remember. Yeah, so yeah, looks pretty easy. So we'll uh, make our way up to the top and then I'll uh, show you some views from there. Just left uh, Troutbeck Tongue. Some really nice views. The weather seems to have cleared up, so you can see Windermere here behind me. And uh, we've got Sour House uh, here, uh, which is what I went up on uh, Sunday. So I've actually already done two Wainwrights from this route Sour House and uh, Sallows. Just because it was easier to add on to the Kept Me a Horseshoe um, than do here, because I would have had to go back down anyway, so it was just a bit of a, a faster way to get them. I'm making my way over to uh, Wandsfell Pike at the moment and then the Baystones. So, Baystones is the actual uh, Wainwright Peak, but um, Wandsfell Pike is going to have nice views off it. So, I'm going to try to get there as well. I think I think that's it up there. Um, so, it should have nice views out onto Windermere um, when we get to the top. So, hopefully, the weather stays like this because it's really nice. Just turned on to Nanny Lane. It's the main route up to Baystones, I think. Pretty much goes all the way up and then dive off to get to the summit, but hopefully I can uh, work my way across to uh, to Wandsville Pike as well. I heard the views are good. So uh, yeah, let's get going. Just arrived at Baystones. Fantastic views, really are. Um, I'm going to work my way over to Wandsfell Pike because I've heard the views are even better from there. But these are just, yeah, exceptional. Here you can see down over to uh, Windermere over here. Then you can also see, I think that's Grassmere. You can see Rider Water is a bit closer in, but I think it's blocked by the the hills over there. Um, An amble size just down there. Uh, Wandsfell Pike is that one just over there, so I think I'm going to work my way over to that and then uh, get some good views.
left uh, one's fell pike. I walked along to there from Bay Stones. Um, some great views down into Ambleside. You saw Rada water, a bit of grass mere. Um, yeah, fantastic, and the weather's perfect, really. Perfect weather for walking, not too hot. Uh, sort of half cloud, and then, uh, yeah, nice and cool, so. Yeah, picked a good day to come out and get these three. Hopefully, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is equally as good, because that's when I'm finishing. So I'm finishing on Sunday. Uh, I've done 200 and, uh, 202. That was the 202nd one, was uh, one's called one's fellow Bay Stones. Um, so yeah, 12 more to go. Looking forward to uh, getting to that final peak. I'm feeling here tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream. We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside, it's alright, we stood there all wide eyed, you and I floating on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back. To I'm back on the uh, granny path, granny path, is that what it's called? Nanny, Nanny Path, or Nanny, Nanny Road or something, Nanny Road, um, Granny Path. So back on Nanny Road, uh, uh, heading back to the car, I've got about one and a half K left. I think all together today I've done about 20 K. Um, so, you know, quite a long way I've done. Uh, it's not exactly a short day, but the elevation hasn't been too great, so that's good. Uh, back to the car, uh, rest day tomorrow, then back out Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the finish. So I will, uh, I'll see you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah.